The good people from Tuffy Security Products have sent along a locking lid that goes over the back of the cargo area in the back of the Jeep Wrangler JL. I'll install it, review it, and then in the tip segment, if you found that interesting, I'll share with you a discount code where you could save a little bit of money if you wanted to get one of these. And then I'll also have a few subscriber tips from a prior video. So stick around. Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. A lot of times when you own a Jeep, you want to take the top off to enjoy the great weather. And I've got a video or two showing how you could do that. But people who do that or people who have soft tops on their Jeep, they're often looking for a way in which they could secure some important items. Now, I've done a video on the tailgate lockbox solution, which also doubles as a tailgate table. I'm having a video release that's on the center console safe that you could check out. But in this video, I want to show you this locking lid that goes in the cargo storage area and it makes the cargo storage space in the floor a secure space that you could keep under this powder coated lockable steel cover. You can see in the back of the Jeep Wrangler JL that there's a very lightweight lid that covers this rear storage area in the back of the Jeep Wrangler JL. Well, the good people at Tuffy Security Products have made an all metal lockable lid for this area. Let's have a look at the unboxing of the product right now. The box did arrive in this condition, so be wary if you receive it like this and make sure you get all the parts. Especially take note of this small bracket piece and the two bolts that are used to secure this to the lid which are attached to the instruction manual. There is also this piece of carpet necessary for the installation and then the lid. The lid seems very sturdy with 1 8 inch thick welded steel that's powder coated and has a continuous pin locked welded steel hinge. As you can see here I chose the digital combination lock option. So here's the little bracket piece that I was mentioning, and then the instructions, the little carpet area, and then finally, the all metal lockable security lid that goes over top of the rear cargo area. And you'll notice that I chose to get the combination lock instead of the keyed lock because I just wanted to reduce the number of keys that I carry, and I'll cover a little bit later on how you set the combination on this lid. There's really not too much to it and before we can install it we have to remove the existing cover that's on the floor right now and essentially you just lift the lid up and just wiggle it a little bit and it just pops out of these little brackets and comes right out. So the clips right here hold the OEM cover in place. We just tug on it to remove it and that reveals the storage area here which we will now be able to install the Tuffy Security Products lid and cover this area and lock it so we can protect our items in this area. So the first thing we're going to need to do is remove the four 10 mil OEM bolts that are in the floor right here. The next item is you want to take this little bracket and two screws that go with it and put it here inside the cubby area. So here's the little bracket. It's a very important piece that you don't want to misplace. And let's find the two screws that go along with this and we'll put it in the little cubby area. Now in my case, the two little screws were attached to the instructions bag. So I'll just put it here in the little cubby. So now with the OEM bolts removed and the tool tray removed, we'll now slip this over the space here to cover the little cargo area that we could lock and secure things in. So we'll just line it up here. So you can see when you open it, you can see the little plastic clips just showing up there. And you slide the bottom of the frame underneath. 
this front lip will just slide right into place. There you go. And the holes here will be lined up with the OEM holes and you can secure it with the 10 mil bolts that you took out before. So now with the four OEM bolts put in place, this steel locking cover now can close and cover that storage area, keeping your items safe and secure. And in this case, we have the digital combination lock to make sure it stays locked. So the lock comes from the factory set at zero, zero, zero. And then you rotate the dial until you see the reset button through that hole. There it is right there. And you put a paper clip right in there, push up against that button, set the code to the numbers that you would like, and then you remove the paper clip from that button and you have set your code. Now I did manage to fit this plastic storage tray in, but I don't believe it's meant to be used because if you keep that in, the door won't close all the way. You can see there. Now, the final little bracket that's left in the installation is an interesting piece because what I found is that by using this, it gets placed right here, right up against this edge, and it clips under the edge of the Jeep, and then it bolts into the frame of the lid and what that does, it ensures that the lid, when it closes, it gives it a nice tight fit here at this edge. When it's done, let's have a look. Now, once you've got it installed, they do give you this little piece of carpet to cover the back area that's been exposed. And you just fit it all in here. just tuck it in around all the edges and now you're done you've got a nicely finished back cargo area now you can see it looks pretty good the way it fits in there it opens up very easily rests up against the back of the seat when you need to and now this powder coated steel locking lid can keep your items secure in the cargo cubby just underneath this panel you can see here it's locked the back of the Jeep looks nice and tidy you can set in your combination code and then just open it to have access to what you want. And after you want to secure things in that place, you just shut the lid and lock it nice and secure. Mix up the code there so nobody can get in and you're done. I think it looks pretty good. So if this item is appealing to you and you think you might want to buy one, have a listen in our tip segment because I'll share with you a discount code that'll help you save a little bit of money. Now for some cheaper, cheaper tips. So if you find yourself possibly interested in purchasing something like this for yourself, there's a discount code CJTV15, which will allow you to get 15% off. I have the discount code and the link to this item in the description section. Now let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. Our first subscriber tip comes from the video where we discuss the USB-C media panel cover hack. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, there are other USB-C charging only ports in the rear. They are much higher amps than the Dash one since they don't also carry signal. I use a wireless Android Auto dongle in the center console and charge my phone with the rear console USB-C port. I like the 90 degree ribbon cable so I can close the cover on the rear and my kids won't hit it when they get in and out of the car seats. Signed, Anthony. Hey Anthony, thanks for sharing the tip on being able to use the ports in the rear and thanks also for suggesting that the ribbon covered in this video can also be used on that back panel so it doesn't get knocked off either. Thanks again. And now we have a second subscriber tip and this one comes from our Maker Off-Road Hardtop Molly Panel video. Hey Jeeper Jeeper TV, I'd be more comfortable with something like this if there was some sort of gasket or something between the item and the vehicle's paint. Signed, Mr. Airtaz. Mr. Airtaz, I certainly know what you mean because it does mount very close. Maybe something like this automotive trim will work. I'll have a link to this in the description. 
And if you have a tip that you'd like to share, please feel free to put it in the comments section below as it may make it in a future episode. Thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button right here and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. Until the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.